I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. And the reason is because I have a lot of faith in the American people. And I think they recognize that being president is a serious job. And sometimes it requires you making hard decisions even when people don't like it. And standing up for people who are vulnerable but don't have some powerful political constituency. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Radical Islamic terrorism. And I'll tell you what, we have a president that refuses to use the term. He refuses to say it. There's something going on with him that we don't know about. Trump isn't going to shut the border. He's not going to fight the war on terror properly. He's not going to deport massive numbers of illegal immigrants. It's not happening. We have to do something about it, and we have to start by building a wall, a big, beautiful, powerful wall. And it actually will even look great. I already know what it should look like, because maybe someday they're going to call it the Trump Wall. Maybe. Do you think your pathetic wall will do anything except fall like a heap of dry leaves in the face. The wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. It's got 10 feet taller. You will pay in your barbarism! I love my life. I have a wonderful family. They're saying, Dad, you're going to do something that's going to be so tough. We will no longer surrender this country or its people to the false song of globalism. No American citizen will ever again feel that their needs come second to the citizens of a foreign country. Uh, you know, good luck with that. We're going to win. We're going to win it for the people. We're going to win it for our country. We're going to make America great again. We march for our lands, for our families, for our freedoms. We march.